Welcome to my workshop. In this video, I will tell you how to make a soft tube for knot pillows and will show you two versions of how to tie them. Let's get down to work. Take some stretchy fabric of any color you like. Mine is one and a half meters wide and one meter long. I fold the cloth in half and place it on the floor. The one meter side facing me. Even out the edges. Mark four stripes, each 17 centimeters wide. Now cut the cloth along the lines. We get four stripes, 17 centimeters wide and one and a half meters long. Join two stripes together by making a stitch here. This way, out of four stripes one and a half meters long, we get two stripes each three meters long. Fold each stripe in half all along the length like this. Make a stitch along the edge. It's a very, very long one. Now we need to turn the tube we've got inside out. I make a little pad on one of the ends, slightly fix it with a couple of stitches and use it to help me turn the whole tube inside out like this. At the very end, free the pad and remove the threads. Now the tube is back with us again. It's time for stuffing. For this purpose, I've prepared a tool that consists of two tubes, or more precisely, one whole tube and one half fixed together with a transparent tape. Put the cloth tube onto the tool like this. Mine is good for a bit more than one and a half meters of the tube. Now take some hollow fiber and fill our tube like that. At some moment, you will need the second part of the tool, some long stick or something. A floor mop handle, a rolling pin, anything that fits into the diameter. In my case, it's a cross beam from the shoe rack. Slowly push the hollow fiber inside the cloth tube, trying to spread it evenly. Keep on doing it until the tube is full. Check and adjust the hollow fiber inside the tube from time to time to make sure it's evenly spread. At the very end, you can use your hands to help yourself. Stuff the other part of the tube and the whole other tube in the same way. We should get two stuffed tubes, each three meters long, and now we're going to join them together. Bend the edges inside like this.
I do it using the invisible stitch that I've already shown you many times. Alternatively, run the needle through one bend, then the other. When there's just a small opening left, add the needed amount of hollow fiber and close it. And that's it! The huge soft tube for the knot pillow is ready! By the way, it turned out to be a fun toy for the kids! Now let's get down to shaping our pillows. I like to tie the ends, it's more convenient that way. Here we have the seam, make sure it's always down so you won't see it on the front side of the pillow. Make a loop like this. Then arrange another loop like that. Take the other end Run it above the tube Then under Again above And under Above, under, above, under And tighten it Make sure your loops are more or less the same size Again, take the other end and now we will mainly follow the pattern of the previous end of the tube. First, run it above the third loop, then fully repeat the pattern of the first end of the tube. See how it goes and follow the path. Now tighten it and form the fourth loop. All we need to do now is repeat the pattern. Here, then here, then here, and so on. In some places it feels a bit more relaxed than I wanted. Let's fix that. Start from the relaxed place and tighten the tube all along. Now it's perfect. Repeat the last turn and hide the ends on the other side of the pillow. You can just tighten the knot and hide the ends like I did. Or you can sew them up if you like. Look what an amazing pillow we've got! Now let's move on to the other version. This knot is called the monkey fist. Make a small loop and repeat it three times. Like this. Now change the direction to perpendicular Twist it like this and run three new loops over the three previous ones, like that. Now run the end through the top. Pull 
pull it out on the opposite side and repeat the move again three times. Hide the ends inside the pillow. Adjust the tightness and the pillow is ready. These wonderful pillows are really worth all the effort. Subscribe to my channel, feel free to comment and check out other useful videos of mine.